happy saturday y'all i've been the worst vlogger this week i think last time i picked up my camera was monday or tuesday basically last weekend we had a three-day weekend and i was off on monday so i randomly biked six miles down to columbus circle and went to zara this is actually where i got this dress from that i'm wearing i'll show you that in a minute i think that's the last time i vlogged or maybe it was when i was at the gym I don't know it's been a while y'all but it's now saturday and it's 11 o'clock i'm getting ready to go and wine tasting with melissa we're gonna go to Matituck and explore long island wine country we're only going to two vineyards because i had a little bit of trouble with the reservations last night and the timing was just kind of off so we're just gonna go to two but i want to go back there if it's like a good experience today because some of my friends wanted to make it today but they couldn't so I might plan another wine tasting trip down there later in the summertime. We'll see. But yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to show you my dress. This is the dress. It's like a sage green, which is complementing melanin very nicely. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. And it's mid-size. It's really flowy. I'll link it down below if I can find it. It's on sale right now. I'm also wearing this bag which I got from TJ Maxx and it's like the exact same color as this dress. So cute. Things took a turn for the worst when we got on the wrong train, but you know, it's okay. We didn't make the winery, but we're gonna still make the most out of this. Head on to Main Street in Farmingdale. And Random S. <laughs> I know, but we're gonna have a good time. I almost, <laughs> I almost cried. I almost cried. It wasn't meant to be. But it's fine. We're gonna have fun, right? We are. Melissa. Mm -hmm. This listen, the pressure is on. Show okay. me, show me a good time in Farmingdale. I am. <laughs> Farmingdale is lit. <laughs> like two hours or one hour at Litology. And now we're going to Cafe Bacci, Italian restaurant in Hicksville. Girl, what is this? This is like a freaking country. <laughs> Not a country. This is a country. We're still at the restaurant. We're gonna go to Melissa's house to play with her doggies. It's a very impromptu evening or afternoon since we couldn't go wine tasting. We're just kind of improvising. <laughs> Happy 
Sunday. I hope y'all are well. I ended up sleeping at Melissa's last night and came home really early. I left around 8 a.m. just because I wanted to be home to relax and prepare for the week. I've been debating whether I should go to the gym or not. I don't know. I feel like I should. I haven't been since the last gym clip that you saw earlier in the vlog. I had a really intense leg day and was completely out of commission for like two or three days after my muscles were extremely sore i had to take a few epsom salt baths to help my muscles recover and i was stretching a lot as well my muscles feel pretty much back to normal by now so i feel like i can get a workout in it's just a matter of getting myself to the gym that's the problem but i really do want to go <laughs> so hopefully we'll get to go we'll see i went to zara on monday to shop their sales so i'm gonna show you what i got and post a vlog last weekend i'd rather give you like really good quality videos as opposed to something that's rushed and last minute Sometimes I don't feel like picking up the camera and that was all of last week for me. I didn't vlog much and it's fine to not want to vlog sometimes. So whenever I'm feeling like that, I don't force it. I just don't vlog. But I'm pretty sure most of y'all get this. Thank you for understanding. I do try to be really consistent on my channel and I am for the most part. Sometimes you need to disconnect. Self-care. Let me show you what I got at Zara. Then we're gonna water my plants. They look so good, y'all. They're really thriving. And then we're gonna try to go to the gym. I want to meal prep today because I went grocery shopping to Trader Joe's. I'm actually gonna show you what I got. And then we're gonna do a self-care routine for the evening. Let us try on the clothes from Zara. <laughs> Trader Joe's baby spinach baby kale broccoli florets zucchini noodles Brussels sprouts avocado plum cots I'm assuming this is a hybrid of plum and apricots I'm not sure yeah part plum part apricot okay <laughs> I think these are in season so I've been having a lot of plum and nectarines as of like the last week or two Got some vegetable broth, some parsley, cilantro, peaches, lemons, garlic, vegan pesto, cauliflower gnocchi, some wild caught salmon. I got this raw wild caught Argentinian red shrimp. Also got some peppers, got red and green peppers, sweet potatoes. Farro. I used to eat farro all the time. I don't know if I ever made it in my old vlogs, but I used to eat this a lot. And I was like, hmm, let me get this again. This is really good with pesto, and it's a really quick dinner. Also got some shrimp gyoza, my monthly regular. <laughs> got some medjool dates, some speculose cookies. This is so good with, like, tea 
or coffee also got some mango and everything but the bagel seasoned kettle cooked potato chips they didn't have my snacks that i like to get like my regular chips so i tried this before and it was it was pretty okay so i got it again and then i got some crushed red pepper and black peppercorns avocado pit was kind of stagnant it wasn't doing anything after it got a really long stem and then i read that you're supposed to cut the stem down to three inches once it reaches six inches so now i'm actually seeing something trying to sprout here so that's good finally this has not been doing anything for a while so i was getting kind of worried did a little bit more research and found out that I had to cut the stem a little bit. I'm actually gonna cut the stem of this one as well. And I'm germinating another two seeds. I'm gonna check how they're doing. But let's cut this first.
I just came back from the gym. I kind of brought you along a little bit for as much as I could. I'm about to shower and get some work done. I actually, I'm going to work from home today. It's very cloudy and I feel like it's going to pour. All week in New York this week is supposed to be extremely cloudy and raining and I just don't understand. <laughs> It's summertime and we're getting rain and like clouds. If it's gloomy and cloudy out, I don't feel like being outside. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stay home. I'm gonna make a salad for lunch later and I'll show you how I do that with the food that I prepped on Sunday. I just literally combine it into a salad. It's so easy. We should actually do a what I eat in a day. A few of you have asked me to do this. So far, I've only had water this morning and my protein shake is just this, which is what I take after my workouts. I just do two scoops of this with some water. Um, so yeah, so far I've only had water and my protein powder. And next thing I'm gonna have is a green juice. This is celery and apple. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I don't really eat breakfast. Like I don't have a solid breakfast. Most of my breakfasts are liquids and stuff. Not necessarily for any particular reason, but I just don't have an appetite for breakfast in the morning. Unless I'm on vacation and I'm like, <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. I do love breakfast foods though. I'll just have it when it's not breakfast time. Anyways, this is a green juice. Just celery and green apple. This is what I'm gonna have, and then next time I eat, it'll probably be my lunch. Cheers! Here's another hot girl summer salad. I added spinach, kale, shrimp, sweet potatoes, broccoli, blueberries, cashews, and avocado. of the day it's like five it's 5 23 and i'm just having my first glass of the day so hashtag gross <laughs> usually i do have my coffee in the mornings but it didn't happen today anyways i got my tell part back oh my god if you know me, you know I love me a small bag. I got a white Telfar. Oh, it's so cute. So cute. And so small. This is so me. I love small bags. Black owned, queer owned, Brooklyn Birkin. <laughs> this is so cute. So little. <laughs> I do remember this. 
I literally ordered this last night. How embarrassing is that? Now remembering what I ordered. I got some collagen hydrolysate for my lemon water in the mornings. Usually when I first wake up, I just drink a glass of room temperature water with two scoops of collagen and a squeezed lime. And that's like the first thing I'll have in the morning, but I had ran out of collagen, so I just stocked up. Also got a beauty blender. You're supposed to replace these every three months, so I just got a new one. And I got some plant stalks because my Monstera and Ansonia, it's like growing out of control. <laughs> What is it about Monstera? Let me show you. It's just like growing one really long vine and I don't know what to do with it anymore. If I move her from here, look at what happens. <laughs> so we're gonna prop her up nicely with one of these. I think you just connect this way. Now she's standing upright. Last but not least, I got some sea moss. I've been reading so much about sea moss. This is from St. Lucia, raw, well-crafted sea moss. All right, y'all, let's make some dinner. I'm gonna make the cauliflower gnocchi that I got from Trader Joe's. I haven't had that in a while, I'm kind of craving it. Found the new recipe for it. Saute it in your favorite fats. I'm using vegan butter, and then I'm adding salt, pepper, nutritional yeast, and I think that's pretty much it. Pretty simple, pretty quick. Let's do it. <laughs> 